Lucky Boys Podcast. Oh, yeah. Andrew Yang. Thoughts Andrew. on him. You think he'll be a mayor coming up for New York City? <clears throat> oh, man. That's another story, bro. Is, is that long? It's, Can we get a, a brief? Uh, okay, so Andrew Yang endorsed Ron Kim. Oh, now, did now, he? But here's the thing, though. Um, as you might know, William Lex Ham is from Andrew Yang's LA team, right? Or, right. or uh, sorry, sorry, SoCal he's, team. Oh, right? yeah, Fulton Fulton Hood is New York Yang gang, right? And both of them are helping me with my campaign. Um, most of the Yang gang people seen what happened during my election, and they also see me take the Humanity Forward pledge way before Ron. You know, throughout the whole thing, I I took the pledge because I took the pledge. Mm-hmm. I didn't take the pledge for endorsement, so that's why I didn't bother asking. You took Yang. it because you thought it was the right thing to do, right? Because what he was writing, so. I was like, "Look, that's great." You know, that's exactly what I think. I don't, I don't follow the far right. I don't follow the far left. I don't care if the idea works. I'll work with anybody, right? Right? If it makes sense and it's good for the people, that's what I want to push. So UBI, yeah, it comes from the far left. Okay, so what? It works though. Mm-hmm. You know, we need that. You think it makes a like? Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I you think know? sometimes ideas from the right makes a lot of sense. Sometimes right. ideas on the left makes a lot of right. sense. Like, like think about it. And it's not like a crazy idea. It's been tested. It's not a crazy right. idea. <laughs> but tested. think about it. Trump even pushed a UBI, right? Right. right. A one-time UBI. So come on, you know. Like, well, I think a lot far- of politicians are now are kind of advocating for it. Right. Actually, because really they know it works. It. They, they yeah. can't deny it no more. So that that's a great victory for um, Yang. But the thing is that uh, he was approached by somebody he trusted, and they said um, to endorse Ron Kim. I don't know how they got endorsement, but that's how they got it. After he got that endorsement, his wife tweeted out, Andrew called, he wants his hat back on Twitter. Whose wife? Ron Kim. Wait, Andrew called? And said that he wants his hat back because they got the endorsement from Andrew Yang, and on Twitter, people who follow Yang had that blue hat, like icon next to the mm-hmm. name. So on my Twitter name, I have the blue icon. I put you know, um, humanity forward, whatever hashtag, whatever, and right. stuff like that, you know. And she tweeted out and tagged me. Andrew called. He wants his hat back. Got you. Like okay. he's not so with they, you. So they only got the endorsement just to throw in my face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not with you. Know you. I mean? He's with us. Right. So. <clears throat> did he did he take the humanity forward pledge uh i guess he did whatever but did he promote it like did he leave it on his profile picture and stuff like that? no did he push for ubi even after no nothing didn't push for any of the things right and so even, why do you think andrew yang's um endorsing him then will actually reached out to him directly and, to andrew yang yeah mm-hmm. and yang um andrew responded, responded and said uh, somebody he trusted recommended him and you know he made that decision if he was to know if he knew about me and him and what was going on he would have took a neutral stance uh, right yeah because andrew yang i mean I, I love a lot of the things he says i man. do i do it, too it's, it's, i was hoping he became president man like to be honest with you yeah um, i mean shit I, I, and not just because he's asian not because he looks like it's just no what he says makes sense we should put someone smart up there right but um i don't think he's running for know. mayor yeah, I heard, I heard, like, I heard oh. rumors swirling, and then I heard it yeah. the other way, like, nah, it's, it's something, it's something, I think he's going to plan on running for something higher office or something, maybe he'll wait for 2024 or something, uh, I don't know, maybe. Take another stab at maybe, president? Yeah, or maybe he'll run for governor or something like that, or. or of New York? Yeah, or. Take a Cuomo spot? Maybe. Um, who knows? Nobody yeah. knows. Nobody knows about him. Even, even, even Will and them don't know. They just know that he's going to make a higher move, or something mm. like that interesting stuff anyway yeah thank you for coming on steve we appreciate you thank you, you are one you. hell of a person man like i wow you have a high tolerance for shit yeah it, <laughs> it's, super, it gets, it's a superhero bro yeah but yeah. It, it gets really lonely until you know um other people that also went through the same thing start reaching out to you yeah and then you realize you know i'm not alone of and course, I, yeah. that's if you want if i was to say one thing to other whistleblowers out there will be my one message is you are not alone you know yeah. we are all here for you other whistleblowers we're here for you we got your back and just know that you are not alone because that that's a big feeling nobody understands what i'm going through yeah and you know no everybody's against me there's nobody to trust there's nobody to turn to it's not true you could trust us so you're not alone. Uh. So.
Yeah, man. I, I see you boots to the ground. You know, you're, you're doing everything for the Asian community. And I see it. I'm there. I'm out there. It's not, and it's not just Asian community. No. He, he's yes. fighting in the black community. Yes, yeah. true. A backlash for that. And, and, and here's the thing. Yeah. Like, you don't go out there for, for photo ops. Not taking attention. You're yeah. taking the photos for people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I actually um, just, decided not to do my live streams and stuff. Like, people were like, oh, you should do your live streams. And I was like, no, nah, I don't want it to be about that. I don't want people to have that um, image of, hey, he's only doing it for his live streams and stuff like that. He's only out there for the photo ops. Yeah. But I'm yeah. out there for the movement, right? It's tough, you know, because people want to shame you sometimes or, right. or people are very cynical. Right. But you know what I realized is that... Uh, I have to I have to start documenting because yep. seeing seeing is believing. Yeah, you know, so I have to start documenting, and even though I, I'm trying not to do it for the photo op and stuff like that, you know, I I got it right. I gotta, you have to document. I don't uh, think there's any shame in that. I mean, because you are there, if you're putting in the the fight, then you and you're the voice of leadership. Right. Then people want to look to you. They want to hear what you have to say. Right. right. They want to hear your voice. They want to hear you empower everyone and yeah. your energy resonating but through here, everyone's soul but here's the thing though i don't want to i don't want to speak and then it gets tainted you know like like even with, with china mac and will like when, when they, they got tainted they got attacked you know by ron kim's people and and they got attacked for it and i feel bad because those are my friends like you know if, if it's a straight it's a straight up election right we're heads up it's just me and ron bro i signed up for this job Come and get, come and attack me. It's between me and you. It's not between my friends or my family. Why are you attacking my friends and family? Because you can't find anything on me. So you have to go attack my friends and family. You know what I mean? Like, they're doing the work. They're doing what you guys are talking about. They're out there they're putting the, the actual ground. work. Yeah. Right. They're out there, boosted the to the ground. They're in the streets doing it. They're not, they're not just talking about it online. They're just keyboard politicians behind the freaking keyboard and just tweeting stuff out every day and, and you know doing this doing that we're boots to the ground we're in the ground i'm in the street i'm not documenting it that's why i, I fell off of um my, my facebook my social media for like a month or whatever because i was not documenting i was like you know what great election is over i don't have to document no more i don't have to prove anybody but people know like you guys i seen you guys out there you guys see me out there other people see me out there when I put that live video up they're like oh I didn't know who you were I didn't know what you were about oh you know I always seen you with so and so I always see you at the march right. but now mm -hmm. I know you know and so and so I, on I can, I can completely agree with you there yeah. and empathize because I do see a lot of other people uh, streaming Asians this and that and we need to speak up we need to and they're saying all the right things and then I'm going hey China Mac and these guys got this thing going on maybe shout them out Right. right, right, and will maybe shout them out. Um, no, instead, and, uh, and instead then, uh, you're attacking them. Not even attacking them. They were making the videos. They weren't even at the protests. Right, and then they are behaving like they were. Wow, really? By covering it, but they weren't even at the protests. And it, it to me, and then like, then people are like, "Oh, you guys are awesome," and I'm going, you know, I can't shame them. I don't want to shame them because. They're because at the same the time, message. yeah, they're spreading the message, and yeah. I and I certainly appreciate that. But it's at the same time, I don't like fake shit. Yeah, it it, it, it bothers me, and it really does. But I get the game, I get the whole yeah. social media bullshit, and and they're covering this like like they were there, and yeah. and they couldn't even say anyone's name. Right. I'm like, dude, you're talking about this rally, dude. Right. Talk about the organizers, then right. give them. Hey, bring some focus give, to them. Give them the shine because they, they need to spread that message because they're in the front lines. Right. They're showing yeah. their faces. Right. So, so, so to totally me, agree. to me, that, that part of me just makes me like, like not that I want to shame them for that because that's not cool either. At least they're speaking up about it. But don't just do it for the clicks and just say right. you wasn't there. Right. But, but, but get this. Not only are they doing that, they're taking it to the next level where they're gaslighting them for doing that. You, you know, know and, and that's us fighting each other. Yeah. Right. And I'm always careful of people right. when they're trying to make me fight my own people. Right. It's crabs in a barrel mentality. Yeah. So for us, we have to be for, careful of that. Right. For, for us people that are out there every day, for us is a movement. For these politicians, it's just a moment. Mm. Is there Ooh, is there election moment? Is there a photo op God moment? Damn, that's a fucking bar you right know? there, bro. Drop and, that mic. Yeah. And, God damn. you know, for us, it's a movement because we're out there every day. 
We don't care if it's election time or whatever. We're there to until the problem is solved, until they fix the system. But these politicians are just there to take the photo op, right? They'll do a speech deal. real quick. Thank you, my people. Blah blah blah. I'm running for blah blah blah, and they disappear. They only look at the cover of the book, right? People don't go inside the pages, <clears throat> right? But people, the, the, the real people, for the know. most part, the people that are out there yeah, know. But the majority of people look at the headlines, right? 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 I, I sometimes am one of them. I don't look into, I can't get into every single freaking story. Right. There's just so much information. So if you're going to browse, do, if you want to read one headline is for the people, it's a movement. For politicians, it's just a moment.